Hi folks, this is Jan Lee here, and my company is Jan Lee Hypnosis, number is 304-989-8582. I want to talk to you a little bit about hypnosis and again, suggestibility. Who can be hypnotized? And here's what I'd like you to try, because you can prove to yourself that yes indeed, you can be hypnotized, and yes indeed, you have been hypnotized many, many, many times in your life already. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to have a few minutes to just sit where you are. <laughs> Certainly you can't do this if you've got the responsibility of a job or you're driving a car or you're flying a plane or operating a chainsaw, but you know, you know, your common sense will dictate that you, whether you can or can't do this. So I want you to just sit where you are and get yourself in that very relaxed state. Really relaxed. And that means proper breathing. That means breathing in through your nose, exhaling out through your mouth, and breathing from your diaphragm. So you get really complete, full breathing. And as you do this, begin to let go. Begin to let go with everything, with your mind, with all of those busy, conscious thoughts that drive you crazy all day. Begin to let go with your body. Just imagine you're a rag doll, that everything is just so loose, <sighs> relaxed and heavy. Begin to let go with your emotions, with everything that has you chained down, upset, anxious, everything that really drives you, and just begin to let go. That's right. Good. Now you don't even have to look at this video because seeing me is not at all important. So you can really just put the phone down, put it on speakerphone, and just listen to my voice, respond to my voice. That's right. I'm sure that you can hear this beautiful rain. And I'm under this little pavilion, as you can see, so I'm well protected. You can see these beautiful things. Now you can close your eyes. Whenever you're ready, you can just close your eyes. Because you don't need to see me. Hearing my voice will be important. So as you close your eyes down, just let them get really heavy and just be aware of all that relaxation around your eyes. All those little tiny nerves and those little muscles around your eyes and how loose and how relaxed they are. How good it feels to just allow them to stay closed. Now as you do this, I want you to imagine that you cannot open your eyes. I want you to imagine that you just can't open your eyes. Imagine that they are so heavy, so relaxed, feel so good that you just can't open them. You really just want them to allow to just, just allow them to stay closed. Really imagine this. Really imagine. Let your mind believe this. Whatever your mind believes you can achieve. So allow this thought to be in there, this only thought that you can't open your eyes, that they just feel too good. Now you test them for a minute. Test them for a second. That's right, stop testing. All right, very good. That's good. Now your eyes remain closed, very, very heavy, very relaxed. Now I want you to just raise you can choose whichever arm, but I want you to raise one arm up, straight out. So raise it up where you are and put it straight out there, and I want you to slowly imagine that that arm is a piece of wood, driftwood perhaps, bobbing along in a river in the ocean. Just imagine how that would be, that that arm is really no longer your arm, that it's a piece of wood. That's right, just imagine it's just kind of bobbing along, staying afloat, but it becomes like a piece of wood that it's no longer really feeling connected to you, to your body. Just allow that belief to occur. Your mind is powerful and what you allow it to believe, you can achieve. That's good, you've got that arm up there. You've got that arm that feels like a piece of wood up there. 
Now when I count to three, I want you to know again that it is your arm and just allow it to fall. Just allow it to fall right into your lap. One, two, three, allow that arm to fall. Your eyes remain closed. When I count to three, I want those heavy, heavy eyes to open up wide and you feel good, you feel refreshed. You are having a great day. You are having a calm and peaceful day. You are special. One, two, three, eyes wide open, excellent. Good, all right, fantastic. Now, for just a moment, think about this. Were you able to allow your eyes to remain closed to the point that you really couldn't open them? You felt as if you couldn't open them. Did you allow your arm to become like a piece of wood, as if it was bobbing in the ocean or bobbing in a river? Answer those questions, that's good. Now, if you were able to do one of those things or two of those things, it shows that you're really suggestible. But this is kind of an easy thing for you to just let go and let your mind open and believing. If you weren't able to do these things, please don't be frustrated. Don't be hard on yourself. It's not a performance. It's really not a pass or fail. It may tell you that you need a little bit of work in letting go, that you really need to believe in the power of your mind. You know that the power of your mind allows you to open your eyes. It certainly allowed you to open your eyes and it allowed you to keep believing that yes, it is your arm and it's not a piece of wood. Now allow the power of your mind to make those things not so. You can't open your eyes. Your arm does feel like a piece of bobbing wood not attached to you. So it's, it's just kind of flipping things a little bit. And this is what hypnosis is. It is really taking the disbelief you have and suspending it. And once you just get into it, it's like that little chink in your armor. Once you get into that, suspending your disbelief, I think the sky's the limit. I really do. Because you're going to be able to change things in a remarkable way in your life. I am not proposing that life will be all wonderful. <laughs> I'd be making millions and millions and millions of dollars. I am not proposing that hypnosis is the ultimate and only cure for anything and everything that ails everybody. No, no, no. And anybody that has any kind of intervention that tells you that, run away, run away from them. What I am stating is fact is that hypnosis is a way to use your exceptional, powerful mind to make changes in your life. It's natural, it's dynamic, it's certainly unproven in a lot of areas. I am looking at things like dementia, certainly PTSD. It's been used often for pain and smoking and weight loss. What about the special needs community? What about those children, let's say, those children and adults who do have differences in the way they think, who perhaps have had some damage or traumatic brain injury, what about what they have left? Why can't we as a world begin to work with what people do have instead of, instead of pushing them away for what they don't have? instead of pushing them away for their differences. So I'm really excited about how hypnosis can be used. And I will say that this is the ultimate message with any kind of intervention in the health and wellness field. Give it, try it with love. Much peace. More again. Jan Lee. Thanks. Bye-bye.